Hello, and welcome to Horizons from the Sun Deck. Thank you for joining us. I'm Melanie McElroy from Craig Travel, and today we'll be talking with MJ Swan from Adventure Canada about what's going on in the world of expedition cruising. Hi, MJ. Thank you for joining me today. Can you tell our Craig Travelers a little about yourself and what you love about working for the family business? Sure. Thank you so much, uh, Melanie, for having me here today. I would love to tell you more about uh, Adventure Canada and, and what it is that we do. So first of all, my name is MJ Swan and I'm an expedition leader with Adventure Canada. And my career started at the very tender age of 15 years old. That's when I had the first opportunity to get on a cruise ship in the Canadian Arctic and Greenland. So I was hired as a Zodiac driver, but I found myself doing all of the jobs that nobody else wanted to do, like cleaning toilets and, and fixing engines and all that kind of stuff, just so that I was able to stay on board as long as I could and not return to the big city of Toronto, because where my real passion lays is out in nature. And so that first trip to the Arctic really ignited a love for the North and for travel in general, and that sort of sparked my career in the industry. And what I'd love to do is just uh, take a second to start sharing my screen. It'll give you a break from looking at my um, eccentric COVID haircut. And I'd love to share this slide here, um, showcasing the family. So um, these days it's myself and my two sisters. Cedar Swan is our CEO. And then Alana Swan is our director of product development. So I'm very close with my sisters and we both are very integral to the uh, business and how it drives forward. And going even a step further, Jason Edmonds is my sister Cedar's husband. He's our operation lead and also an expedition leader. And then Devin Bailey Jones is my partner. I'm very, very fond of, love her to death. And she's our director of sales and client services. So it's very, very much a family business. And we take that one step step further even by um, always joining our expeditions. We really think that it's imperative for us to be um, experiencing the same as our clients do to make sure that the product is delivered in a very high quality. We want to make sure that everything is top quality. And so for us being that close to the experience, we're able to critique and change things even mid-trip to make sure that it is the best possible trip for each one of our clients. Now I'm extremely proud to work alongside of my family and co-workers every day and I wouldn't change it for anything even in the most challenging times like working through a global pandemic. That's fantastic from one family-owned business to another it's really great to be working with you. Yeah thank you I, I agree. I know Adventure Canada is already well positioned for a return to cruising with smaller ships and a lower capacity. Can you tell me a bit about what new procedures Adventure Canada has implemented to help keep our guests safe, healthy, and comfortable when they return to cruising? Would love to, yeah. So first of all, the expedition cruise industry is one of the most well-equipped when it comes to managing and monitoring health uh, conditions of those on boards are small ships. You know, outbreak prevention and response measures are in place year round as part of our standard operating procedures. But in particular for our operation, the Ocean Endeavour, the ship pictured here, has a max capacity of over 350, but Adventure Canada limits uh, to about 60%, 198 guests is what we actually bring on board. And that was even before um, COVID happened. So this is already well set up. We're used to operating in this type of environment. So with less than 200 guests on board, um, safety measures like pre-board testing, uh, social distancing and health monitoring can all be effectively managed. So she's a beautiful ice class vessel. She with the perfect combination of strength and comfort, but her, her variety of public spaces and lounges. She has three public lounges, uh, two saunas, hot tub, um, uh, full library. There's three different coffee and tea stations. So this variety of public spaces allow our guests to freely explore and not be confined to their cabin and still practice safe social distancing measures. Uh, so the ship also um, doesn't use recycled air. So it, it just happened to land that way for us, which was extremely fortunate. So she was already set up on a system that only brought in clean air and then any air in the ship was sent directly outside. So that really limits the opportunity for viruses be, uh, being spread through the ventilation system. So only clean air comes in fresh from the outside and then it goes right back outside. Nothing is recirculated. 
So then on top of the, the vessel itself, uh, we also have a very thorough COVID action plan. So, you know, as leaders in the expedition travel industry for over 30 years, we take this very seriously, the ongoing health and safety concerns of our guests, our staff, and then also um, the community members that we're visiting. And it's extremely important during this global pandemic. So one of the benefits of expedition travel is our ability to break into subgroups which we were already doing before COVID, but this allows us to create mini bubbles. So when we go off on our excursions off of the ship, uh, you know, we're always with the same group of people and that way uh, there's less chances of, of spreading. So we're gonna closely monitor the situation. And of course, as things continue to evolve, we will make changes and develop our plan further, but I want everybody to feel comfortable um, and safe knowing that they're taking a trip with Adventure Canada and we have your safety as top of mind. That's fantastic that you're so well prepared. Adventure Canada has some spectacular voyages and incredible guests. Can you tell our viewers about some of the people they could have the pleasure of sailing with in 2021 and 2022? I would love to, yes. Yeah. So our resource staff are not just on board to provide lectures. They're all encompassing expedition team members who um, join us on hikes. They go out to the interpretation sites. Um, they drive our zodiacs. They, they lead these hands-on workshops. So, you know, they are there as staff, but they actually just feel like part of the larger cohort. You know, there isn't really this separation between guests and staff. We're all part of the same large family. And so there's a couple of key highlights that I would like to mention. One of our most notable keynote speakers is Margaret Atwood, who's a famous Canadian author, poet, and environmental activist. So, um, you know, before she became um, known all over the world, she was a very um, influential environmental activist. She still is to this day. And that's why she actually joined Adventure Canada on her first expedition many, many years ago. And so she is a major contributor to our educational programming. She's gonna be joining us on our Iceland to Greenland program in 2021. Another one of our key staff is Dr. Latonia Hardery, who holds a PhD in Newfoundland, Labrador, and Arctic archaeologies. So for over 20 years, she has conducted ex ex excavations in Newfoundland's Northern Peninsula, where she has reconstructed 5,000 years of Indigenous and European history. So she's a very special individual. She is the president of AARA Inc., which is a not-for-profit organization dedicated to Arctic and subarctic uh, studies and she's also an award-winning winning filmmaker so you know these these people are not a single focused we have such a long list of them and and they stretch over all of our expeditions and Latonia is actually joining uh, our Newfoundland circumnavigation program in 2021 which Craig Travel is hosting a special group on so we're really excited about that that's fantastic I love all the partnerships that you have what is unique about Adventure Canada that will make them a great choice for our guests? Yeah, so there's, there's a number of reasons, but I've selected just a few to talk about today. So first of all, one of the reasons I'm so proud to work at Adventure Canada is how we work towards a positive future for our planet. We're undertaking a number of initiatives to leave the places we touch and the world in a better place. So not focusing solely on sustainable travel, but regenerative travel. How can we actually uh, make a positive impact? So we're reimagining business practices that are aren't business as usual. Instead, we're looking at innovative ways to run our operation, support our partners, appreciate the natural world and value people. So we took a look at the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and we built a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all. So they address the global changes we face, including those related to poverty, inequality, climate change, peace and justice, and so on. So we've narrowed down our focus to nine of the 17 developmental goals. And this visual here showcases a few of the places and ways that we're working hard to support the United Nations goals. So we believe that we can make a difference and our guests make a difference when choosing to travel with Adventure Canada and Craig Travel. That's fantastic. You're really making a difference. 
Another one of our programs is the Nikon program. So um, this is a sponsorship where Nikon puts on a number of different cameras and then also a number of different camera lenses and also a professional photographer. So it's an opportunity for all of the travelers to borrow the equipment free of charge. The photographer will teach you how to use the equipment, how all the dials work and how to frame your image and also how to critique the photograph afterwards. And then you will get to keep the photographs and take them home as a keepsake. So it's a great way to use very expensive equipment and, um, and not have to pay for it. And then the last one I wanted to focus on was something that we do different than a lot of other operators is we offer a free solo supplement. So any of those solo travelers out there that are tired of paying single supplement fees to, uh, to travel by yourself, we've eliminated that altogether and made a variety of different cabin categories available. So you can join our programs and not have to pay that additional single supplement fee. It also makes for a very warm environment as we usually get about 25 to 40 different solo travelers on each one of our expeditions. So it kind of forms this little community of solo travelers that are out trying to enjoy and explore the world together. Thanks, MJ. That really sets you apart in the expedition cruising world. Thanks. Appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for sharing your insights with us, MJ. And thank you all for watching. We look forward to sharing more Horizons from the Sun Deck with you next time. Sounds good. Thank you.